How do you pronounce your last name? Scouten. Ms. Scouten, you and the defendant were in a relationship from when to when? Um, we were in a relationship from May of 2016 to February 2018. And you lived together during that period? Yes, Your Honor. Starting when? Um, we started to live together about July of 2016 until February 2018. When did you get the dog? We got her of January of 2017. From where? Uh, the Humane Society in St. Cloud, Minnesota. When you left in February, I said your case has several parts. One of them has to do with custody of this dog. <laughs> you left in February. Of 2018, yes. And since February of 2018, the lovely dog has been in Mr. Thompson's possession. Yes, we did have an agreement that I would see her. Yes, but she's been. Who is this person? Uh, that's my girlfriend, Madison. What does she have to do with this case? She's a witness. Uh, to what? Uh, to uh, the care of the dog. Oh, okay. So now the dog has been with Mr. Thompson February, March, April, May, and you five months. Yes. Do you work? I do, Ms. Your Scott? Honor. What kind of work do you I do? I am a home health aide at uh, assisted living. And when do you work? From when to when? Um, I'm full time, so it, my hours variety, but I work in the morning shifts. Guys, I'm right now addressing this issue that is so ridiculous for me to have to address, for any court to have to address, the custody of a dog, which you got when you were living together and you shared responsibilities for the dog. Mr. Thompson said he paid the vet bills for the dog. Yes, ma'am. You say you paid some of the vet bills for the dog. I don't know. Right now, I have to decide. The dog has been with him for five months. You work full-time. What about you, Mr. Thompson? I work full-time. I'm the business manager of a mobile station and slash service shop. Okay, who do you live with, Ms. Counton? I currently live with a roommate of mine in Minnesota in an apartment. What does your roommate do? She is a EMT. So she works full time too? Yep. And who do you live with, sir? Uh, I live with my parents currently. Do they have a dog? Yes, ma'am. What kind of a dog do they have? Uh, she's a Shih Poodle Cross. Smaller dog? Yep. How does the smaller dog get along with Midnight? Excellent. Uh, we have a cat as well. They're best friends. Are either of your parents home during the day? Uh, during the day, yes, ma'am. Who? Uh, my mother is home during the day. Do either you or your roommate have another dog? Um, my roommate has two cats, no other dogs. So does not, the answer is no. No. Have your roommate's two cats been in contact with Midnight? No, they have not. I have not been able to see her since okay. March. Good. She's gonna stay with the defendant. Midnight's gonna stay with the defendant. It's in her best interest and since neither one of you have any greater claim than the other. She's been with him for five months. Put your hand down. She's been with him for five months. She's at home. She has a friend during the day. She's going to stay with him. Now, let's go on to the next part of your case. Return of the dog. That's gone. Return value of items withheld. I'd like you to tell me what items you believe that Mr. Thompson withheld from you. Um, besides the dog, I... It's not the dog. The dog I'm finished with. I have a fishing pole there. And a fishing a, pole? Yes, and a kitchen table. Do you have a kitchen table? Uh, no, not currently. Where no. is it? I sold it. You sold it. For how much? $50. Okay. To whom? Uh, a roommate of mine, or not a roommate, a friend of mine that I, who I worked with for a while. Uh, they had moved into a house right next to where I work, and they needed a kitchen table, so I sold it to them for cheap. Okay. Whose kitchen table was that? Uh, it was both of ours. We actually split it. You mean you bought we, it new We split together. the cost of the table. How much was the table to begin with? $200. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, so you got $25. <sighs> you have a fishing pole? All of my fishing poles, yes. She says she had a fishing pole. I had bought it for her as a gift. And if you bought it for her, there's no such word as bought. If you bought it for her as a gift, then it's hers. Yes, ma'am. She had just left it at my house. Okay, so you're going to return that to her when? Uh, as soon as I get home. Okay, great. Fishing pole, $25, and the next thing we're not dealing with, which is a forced eviction, you say he told you to get out of the house. It's not an eviction, that's when you have a fight with your boyfriend. One of you leaves, that's what happens. You left. We were living with his parents. I don't care. Oh, so you were living with his parents with Midnight, mm -hmm. with the Shih Tzu. Mm -hmm. Midnight has always been with the Shih Tzu. But I am hearing he is mistreating her as my witness is here. Name? Kayla Rich. Mistreatment of Midnight. Um, yeah, so I began talking with Logan back in, like, February. With Don't give her any papers. Just a second. Just, I'm talking to her. 